Hello and welcome again to the bathroom. So now we're going to look at a shaving brush that I got from Pearl Shaving. Logo up there, very nice logo. And a shaving. It is called the SBB12 Sky Blue Synthetic Hair. It's a short handle brush. Let's see. And I did unbox it with the unboxing with the Pearl Flexi. And it is a very nice looking short handle. So it is very good for travel. I'm not sure if it's picking up all the nuances in this brush. But... And it says Pearl here at the back. Synthetic, as I said. A bit of backbone actually on this. Um, quite soft. I'm going to be using this in the shave, um, in, the, in a coming shave. But first, we'll have to get it shave, shave ready. It comes with. Let's see. I don't know how many millimeters it is. Twenty-four, I think. Twenty-four millimeter knot. Daughter. Uh, there's just an information sort of sheet here. But it doesn't say anything specific about the brush. And I don't know. It's not a 27 millimeter, that's for sure. It's, it's a 22 millimeter, perhaps. Anyway, when you get a new brush, I wouldn't use it straight away. It's been in the cardboard. Uh, container and uh, there might be some of that dirt and rubbish got into the bristles you don't want that onto your face or various I don't um, so this is what I would recommend you to do get some water running uh, warm but not hot so you burn yourself wet the brush and just do it with your hands on the ceiling under the, the sink under the water just have the water running down here and just do a bit of rinsing. That's also how I clean my brush up the words. Now, you see it's wet. Flick it. Okay. Now I'm using a mug. It could be any mug. I'm using this one because I usually use it to soak things with. You see a bit of water in it. Whoops. And some dish detergent. I put on some soap here regularly regular hand soap I'll wet the brush and I'll lather it up on my hand kind of getting a, a feeling in here um, firstly I get a, a preview of how it might lather up secondly I get the soap worked into the bristles and this is completely yeah, this is scentless really if I got a a badger brush or a ball brush it might actually stink a bit um, I keep working like this and look it is very very soapy I'll just clean, I've just rinsed the handle here, so I'll just, I'll just clean the handle with the soap, so I'll just rinse that off, also with my hands here, also getting rid of the soap. So, the brush, basically it's clean, but we want it to be completely clean, so this water we've got here with soap in it, we put it in, simply dab it up and down, so we know that every bit of water gets onto the brush there, and we'll have it sort of soaking but not sort of above here we wanted to soak just about here so because if soap and water gets down here it might loosen the knot and we'll lose hairs and we don't want that so it's sitting here and it's going to sit there for about 15 minutes we'll rinse it off but sorry simply with water and we're good to go and that's it that's Sort of what I do when I receive a new brush. If I was receiving a bore or a batch of brush, I would leave it like this, but I would have lathered it up in sort of a shaving soap 
and leave it there for a few days and every morning it would stir up in it a bit and that way it would actually consume the scent of the soap and it wouldn't smell like a wet animal any longer so that's that's a tip for you just leave it one no not one two to three days and it will be scentless when you start using it i've done it with my silver tips it worked great and they never smell of wet animal if you could use it then you're welcome have a nice day out